Can we guess what these crazy Japanese video games are about? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Video games, they enrich our lives and take us to other dimensions within our minds. They're basically books, but better. Today- You we, heard it here. Yes. <laughs> Today we have found some of the craziest video games ever. And of course, they're all from Japan. Yes. And we're gonna play a game uh, and reveal some of these to each other and to you. So this is how it's gonna work. Uh, we have each prepared a short clip from the game. It might be a section of the game trailer, it might be some of the gameplay. We're yeah. gonna show that, and then using nothing else but that, we have to then guess what the game is about. And based on how close our answer is to reality, we will award each other points. Okay, let's do it. All right, Link, here's your first game. Oh my, <laughs> these men need to get clothed. <laughs> Muscled men, and there's the bikini top. There was a woman And a there. sheep. What's that, an announcer? Okay, Here they're running yeah. through walls and going 135 kilometers an hour. I can't read that. How to play, I did read it. There's a football player. Up. Oh, they're posing. Okay, they're chasing. Oh, there's a hiney shot. The guy ran, He's. They're, they're hitting the wall and he's tackling a football player. What is that? An a, alien. A ghost? That was an alien. There's also a polar bear in there. I don't know if you saw that. I, I didn't even see the polar bear. I am so overwhelmed. If the gameplay is nearly that frenetic, then I, people are gonna have a heart attack playing this thing. Bodybuilders. Ding, ding. Oiled down and chasing a football player who has stolen what I believe to be like a a protein powder pack. Whoa. I do think, I thought it was a football and then I looked closely and it had a lid on it. It's like, okay, protein powder. So wow. football player steals protein powder and they bust holes through walls trying to trying to tackle him in a set amount of time. Um, you sure you haven't played this Without losing their G-strings or whatever <laughs> it is. You are almost completely right. But you, you miss the main part of the gameplay, which is as you're chasing the football player who stole your protein powder, yes, yes. You're, you and all your, your roided out buddies <laughs> are going through the town and you have to do certain poses to pose your way through Oh, through the, the templates, like like somebody busts through, and then you yeah. got you got to fit. Yeah, but you know what? That's a pretty good answer. I'm going to give you a seven out of ten for that because you basically got everything right except for the main part of the gameplay, which is the, you got the concept of the game right. Oh, you're off right. to a whoa, 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 you're off to a good All start. Right. All right, let me show you one here. Check this out. See what you, if you can decipher it. The chickens? Catching? No, that's not chickens. That's candy with faces on it. Four shrimps. I see a P. The P is still there. You. You are the you are the animals? You are you this? are water bugs. Learning about the letter P. P. Now you're on a date. There's two cheering. Is that a blimp? That's a blimp. It's still, a rocket blimp. There's still P for perfect in the back, in, in the upper left-hand corner. All right, right, obviously you know what this game is about, right? So uh, see if you can get it. I'm gonna give you 10 points if you can get it all right. Or It's a an educational number. game about letters, apparently only about the letter P. Teaching children about the letter P, which apparently is important in Japan. I because would, it's in the middle of the word. I would not go Japan. the educational route if I were you. Okay, and um, it involves multiple sets of animals Probably something to do with cloning, because there was sets of all of the animals. Teaching children about cloning, the letter P. And there is some kind of guitar hero-ish element to it because they were doing it to the rhythm, to the beat. So I mean, it's, there's, a, there's a beat thing and it's educational for children, the letter P, maybe other letters, but you just showed me the P, P section. Okay. Uh, That's my answer. All right. This is called Rhythm Heaven Fever, released in July 2011 for the Wii, of course, out of Japan. Um, it is like a Guitar Hero rhythm game, so that's the majority. So you get you got the you got the baseline right. I I haven't deciphered anything educational about it. I do not know what the P stands for, uh, so Japan. I can't help you. That. The P in Japan, <laughs> yeah, right? That's what it stands for. So I may I may give you some points for guessing what P is, because I still don't know what it is. You, you, there's different levels, and you gotta, like, you gotta hit the rhythm. So I'm gonna give you 
I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10 on this thing. <laughs> what? Because, yeah, because basically it's just a bunch of rhythm games Thanks, and you Link. got that part. So. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even tell you, the name of your game was called uh, Muscle March. It's also a Wii game. Okay. 2009. All right. Okay, well, I'm beating you. I shouldn't be. You said a lot you're more a that was too, wrong. Maybe I should have taken some points away, but you got everything right okay, and I'll you made it. up a bunch of jokes. I'll take my 8 points and run through the wall like this. Okay, here's your next game, Link. Okay. Okay, money, cat's 50 grand. Okay, cat disappeared. Oh, there's the cat in the front. The cat is, what, singing? Oh! Attacked by the cat, and now, okay, it's a race game, and the cat has a laser, what is that, a, a vacuum cleaner? Maybe. And, okay, so it is a racing game, but then the, the you're in an office building, and you're trying to catch cats, Dodge cats, okay. Uh huh. Where the cat gonna come from next? The box again, okay. Hey, come here, kitty. And then the cat attacks. Wow, doesn't that look like fun? Um, Good game, huh? Again, there's mul There's a racing component. There's a there's a dodging component. There's a stealing money from cats component. I think that this game is just um, a world where cats have taken over, and you're the last human on earth. And you've got to steal their money, drive their cars, and not get sucked up in their magical vacuum cleaner, or don't go in their office building because they're going to tackle you. Game. Okay, uh, you're not that far off. This game is called Delinquent CEO Rena. It's uh, you work at a place called Cat Queen Incorporated, and Rena is the boss. So I got office. Uh, and you basically do a bunch of mini games like playing piano with a cat, taking money from a cat while it's not looking, driving it. a cat around while it has a vacuum cleaner on the back. Got it. In general, just making the new CEO, cat CEO, Rena, and her coworkers happy. So it's a business that has been taken over by cats, not an entire world. But oh. uh, you're pretty close. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give the eight to ten. I'm gonna give you eight point one. Eight point one out of ten. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Thank you. Link. Thank you. All right. Uh, watch this one. Legs. What? What were those two things? That, what? That's a, that's a clue right there. Is that the game being played? The thing coming from his crotch and going into that weird tunnel? Yeah. There's the sun. No, it's a man's face. It's a green man. Now, hold on, did I see like an hourglass? This is like, you're going inside of his ear, okay. And there's a little gingerbread man in there. <laughs> or is it? Okay, the first thing, I'm taking issue with this being a game and I'm saying that this is a Bjork music video. <laughs> so, is I'm that I'm taking right? issue with your pronunciation of Bjork. <laughs> oh, Bjork. Oh. <laughs> this is a Bjork music video. So how does it work, Rhett? I have no idea. You go inside a green man's head, mm. uh, and there's a little gingerbread man, you throw things from your, you throw pinwheels from your crotch. <laughs> why? Because Bjork wants you to. <laughs> That is not why. This this game called Eastern Mind, The Lost Souls of Tong Nu was released in 1994 on the Macintosh computer. Oh, they have to see a computer. You yeah. are Ren, a guy who wakes up one day and his soul has been stolen. Um, so you go to the mysterious island of Tong Nu where your soul is being held. Of course, Tong Nu is that green guy's head. Oh. That's the island. You gotta go inside of his head. Sign me up. And find your soul and bring it back out. My soul looks like a squish pancake? <laughs> I don't a know square if square decorated pancake man? I don't it looked like an I owl so. to me. Um so how many points do I get? Just for getting inside of the head, I'm gonna give you two points, but you get no more than that. I'm okay. giving you two out of ten for that, man. Great for me. Okay, Eastern moving right on. Lost soul. Here's yours, Link. Mm, oh, some, boulder. Nice sky music. Oh, wait, there's okay. Remember when, when that was in oh, this style? Is moving fast. Pink panda chills. Helicopters. Explosions. Old woman on a surfboard. That was snowboard. A snowboard. Speed. Yeah. That was snow. Now the man's on a surfboard. There okay. She is again. And there's a clam with human eyes, and drama, and a UFO. Oh, and a panda-shaped hole in a building. Oh my goodness, suspense. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness, suspense. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so overwhelmed by these. Like I, yeah. I'm not pretty fast paced. I, I don't, I'm scared to play these things. But okay, a giant pink panda has taken over Tokyo. What? <laughs> Thanks for giving me some time to think. That hadn't happened in a while. No. Um, 
<clears throat> and businessmen and women are competing to try to take him out. And a key thing that you got to do is get the oyster with the unicorn horn and the human eyeballs in order to defeat wow, you paid the pink panda. But you also have to like put dynamite on a subway. It's like that's I'm not- going to stop you right there. You're wrong on most all of that. Oh, really? All that happened is they forgot grandma's birthday. <laughs> it's called Incredible Crisis, 1999 PlayStation game. Uh, they forgot grandma's birthday. You it's a, it's it's a mom dad and boy and girl, and they all have to get to grandma's birthday, and they have to overcome a lot of obstacles, including a giant pink, pink teddy bear that is taking over the city. What about the human-eyed oyster? I don't know, it's something grandma wants for birthday, I, I don't, guess. I get points for that. I, we gave my grandma oysters Everything I observed happened. Uh, so you did uh, observe the thing taking over the city and some elements. I'm gonna give you a four out of 10 for that, but you missed the main reason of the game, which is to satisfy uh, grandma's birthday urges. <laughs> <What>? How? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right, let me uh, show you. Is it my turn? I'll show you this last don't one. Don't forget grandma's birthday. Okay. You're a fly. A fly who cuts the stereo on. What? Why? 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 This woman is confused. I feel like this woman is acting right now. That's how I feel about this game. Why? What? Why are you sleeping on top of the covers with your boxer briefs on? Watch what? This. You going in her nose? Battle? What? Her clothes changed. She's had enough. Relax. All right, Rhett. This one's pretty obvious. Okay, so you're. Some it may kind of, be. I don't know. You're like a fly. Uh, who this? You've got a confused, irritated woman, and you're trying to relax her. You're Aren't a psychotherapist all? fly. No, that's. I'm, I, I guess you're just, you're just a fly in some girl's apartment, and she needs to relax. Why? Why do you relax her by by biting her? Good question. You need to relax the woman. It's called relax woman. Uh, it's actually called Mr. Mosquito, released June oh, 2001. This is a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, you are Mr. Mosquito and you must, you, so you're not a fly. Okay. You're a mosquito, you that missed that sense. entire. There was no buzzing. You must suck your blood quota from the Yamada family, but you can only feed from designated body areas at designated times without maxing their stress meters. And if they see you, they go into battle mode and they start swatting at you. And that's where the relax comes in. And you gotta get them to relax so you can uh, suck their blood while they're relaxed. Get the blood quota. Okay, so you I didn't would, even get mosquito. Well, I mean, the mosquitoes don't have green uh, wings. Neither do flies, though. Flies can't start stereos, but mosquitoes can. True. I, I mean, d can you tell me anything you got right? Uh, you're a bug, and you're trying to get somebody to relax. That's pretty important. Uh, all right, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'm gonna give you three points for that. Oh because, come on! I, all right, I'll give you four points. Thank you. Just to be just to be generous. Okay, so where do we stand at the end of points giving? Link is uh, really in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at this. Okay, Link, I don't. You've won by a lot. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, all right. Uh, and what do I win? I win. I get to play this game, uh, one of these games, before you do in Good Mythical More. Oh. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Victoria, and I'm Crystal, and I'm Christina, and we're in New York Comic Con, and, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Remember, we now have. Beard oil and lip balm. My beard oil, Link's lip balm, available at retlink.com slash store. Mm, click through to Good Mythical More. We are going to play that bodybuilder game on the Wii. Let's play! Air drumming that turns into a fight. Hmm. <laughs> Ow. That was a fight. <laughs> Thirty, shaky, 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 yeah, 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 yeah,